ESM. Today I have a very exciting show for you. I'm going to be sharing my experience at the Penn Relays, one of the largest track meets in the world. First, let's see what's going on with news. USPS workers are being accused of drug trafficking. A years-long investigation found they were distributing cocaine and marijuana. Ralph Minnie is charged with possessing and distributing cocaine and marijuana. He was using the mail to run a drug operation for four years. Famous Syracuse musician Elizabeth, Elizabeth Libba Cotton is receiving the Early Influence Award as part of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's 2022 class. <clears throat> She'll be inducted into the Hall of Fame near Eminem, Dolly Parton, Carly Simon, and more. Elizabeth, Elizabeth spent her last years in Syracuse with her family. In 1983, she was named the city's first living treasure in 1983. She passed away in 1987 at 92 years old. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So the pen relays are held in Philadelphia at the University of Pennsylvania and they draw up to 100,000 spectators every year. High school, college, and even Olympic athletes come to compete at this event, and there are even older divisions. I thought it was really cool. I saw 100-year-old Lester Wright break the 100-meter record in its age group with a time of 26.34. I was also lucky enough to be able to compete at this event with some of the ESM track team. After weather, I'll be sharing some videos of this awesome event. Tomorrow are going to be cloudy and rainy and um, with a slight chance of rain. Today we have a high of 62 degrees and a low of 44 degrees. Tomorrow we have a high of 62 degrees and a low of 40 degrees. I'm here with the 4x100 team with the Penn Relays about to run our butts off. We're here with Coach Gorney. There he is. Coach Felicia. Back All right, we're currently on our way up to the stadium, Felicia. <laughs> okay, so this is us walking to the stadium. There was a bridge we had to walk over. Where's the last wind? This is us okay, entering. We're now entering the stadium. Uh, the sun's gonna be here lower. It's a beautiful day for the race. The sun was out. Oops. <laughs> and this stadium was huge. Like I couldn't wow. even get over how big it was. Like I actually cried because I was so happy. It was like such a good experience. In this race, a bunch of college women came to the race. This is the girls' 800 meter, which is two laps around the track, and this is college women. And you can see they almost finished the first lap in less than a minute, so that's like ridiculously fast. And this is the girls' 400 meter, which is one lap around the track. And some of these girls finished within 50 seconds just for one lap around the track. So to be able to go to Penn Relays, there's a lot of high school teams that go, and you have to either qualify with the team or make a certain time. And for college women, you have to be the best of the best and very elite to be able to compete at this event. This was the field that a lot of the athletes warmed up on. What's up, 
of ESM, we're at where we at everyone? King of Prussia Mall. King of Prussia Mall. Oh. Okay, now we got some dragon's breath. It's very cold. Oh, it's cold. Do I eat it? <laughs> oh, that was so good. That was so good. I love that. <laughs> Unified Basketball won against Casanova with a score of 28-17. The boys tennis team beat West Tennessee 4-3. Josh Spricka and Noah Satterley won in the singles competition. Baseball beat Fulton 11-5. Dylan Clark pitched six innings, allowed six hits, and had three strikeouts. Softball beat Central Square 4-2. Lift golf pitched seven innings and allowed three hits and had 12 strikeouts on the game. Boys lacrosse team lost to Auburn 11 to 5. The girls lacrosse lost 25. The girls team had a match today at 3:30 at Central Square. The softball team has a game at Syracuse City at 4:30. The boys tennis has a match at Liverpool at 4:30. On Saturday, the boys tennis team plays at Cicero at 2. The girls softball plays away at Auburn at 2:30. Girls across team plays at Marcellus at three. Well, ESM, I hope you enjoyed learning about the pen relays. For me and everyone here at the morning show, have a great Friday and an awesome weekend.